Hello and welcome to the Knowledge Capsule series. Today I'm going to talk to you about free cash flow to firm and free cash flow to equity. Now these concepts are widely used in the discounted cash flow techniques when we need to value a firm or a business. What is FCFF? FCFF is net income plus interest into one minus tax rate plus non-cash charges minus capex minus working capital investments. The question that you should ask yourself is why do we add back I into one minus TR? The point is very simple. FCFF is basically an unlevered cash flow. So we need to nullify the impact of leverage and therefore we add back the interest. The point here is why do we do into one minus TR? The reason is if you, you know, there, there is a saying in English language that you can't have the cake and eat it too. So if you want to nullify the impact of leverage and add it back, that means you want to add back the interest, you should also eliminate the tax shield that is associated with the interest. And therefore, the formula is like this. FCFF is net income plus I into 1 minus TR plus non-cash charges minus CapEx minus working capital investment. Mind you, FCFF therefore is an unlevered cash flow. FCFE, on the other hand, is a levered cash flow. And therefore, it does not add back I into 1 minus TR. Rather, it adds net borrowings because it actually takes cognizance of leverage. FCFE, the formula therefore is net income plus non-cash charges minus capex minus working capital investments plus net borrowings. FCFFs are discounted using VAC, weighted average cost of capital. Very simple and obvious because apple to apple, you are talking about free cash flows to the firm. And therefore, you have to take the cash flows that are available to all the shareholders, all the stakeholders rather. And therefore, we use FC for FCFF, we use VAC for discounting the cash flows to the firm. FCFEs rather are discounted using cost of equity because this is free cash flow available to equity shareholders. Another striking difference between both the techniques is when we discount the free cash flows to the firm and the terminal values using VAC, we arrive at the value of business and therefore we need to reduce the value of debt to find out the value of the value of equity. FCFEs rather, when they are discounted using a uh, cost of equity, that will straight away lead you to equity valuation, obviously, and there's no need whatsoever to reduce the market value of debt. So these are some of the simple uh, illustrations around FCFF and FCFE to help you understand the concept before you start applying them for business valuation purposes. Hope you found it useful. Keep learning. Cheers.